going to start off with a Bulgarian split squat. So to do this you can either put your foot up on a chair or the back of a sofa or a box, anything that you can get your foot up on to get an angle. Notice how Chris is not too close to the chair nor is he too far away. Um, you can make this a little bit difficult by um, holding onto a band or holding some weights in your hands. We've uh, resorted to heavy weight backpacks. The goal is to feel this in your glutes and a little bit in the hamstrings and a little bit in your quads. Now we're into the single arm tricep extension. Again, you can use a band or what we're using here is a backpack. We're just doing one arm at a time. If you can't do one arm at a time, then just do both hands at the same time. Um, feel that burn right in the back of your triceps. Now we're doing a rotating plank. So you're gonna get in a plank on the floor. Again, you can do this on your knees, uh, but you're just gonna rotate from one side to the next. This is gonna get your shoulders burning and your core at the same time. So the goal is to do as many as you can. We resorted to 20 and we were feeling it pretty good. Um, do it as best as you can. If you have any shoulder issues or anything else going on, just be wise. But this is gonna get your shoulders and your core. So try to control your hips down as you bring your elbow down. So don't just plop. We're gonna start off with a quad wall extension. So notice my toes are against the wall and my heels are as well. I'm gonna dip my knees down. I'm gonna hover above the floor. I'm not gonna to touch the floor. And then I'm gonna squeeze all the way back up. This is gonna start getting right into the quads. That's really all you wanna feel it right there. Um, and at the end, I kind of went a little bit faster because I was feeling the burn. Um, that's a different way to do a quad extension. <laughs> Then we're going to do our lateral deltoid raise. So again, here we are using backpacks. If you have any bands or dumbbells, use those as well. Again, the goal is to feel it on the, the lateral aspect of your shoulder. So if you're feeling it too much in your traps or in your shoulder, like the part near your neck, um, you need to maybe go a little bit lighter or just focus a little bit more on the muscle that we're trying to reach. Again, do as many as you can um, or whatever weight you can do to make sure that you're keeping your form as proper as possible. Now we're gonna go into our bridge to planks. So again, these can be modified by going, starting on your knees. Again, the goal is to keep your hips as still as possible so you don't wanna wiggle. Uh, you wanna make sure you're doing the same amount on one arm as you do the other. Then to make it a little bit more difficult, uh, you can go on your toes. So just a quick little transition there. Again, keep your hips from wiggling. Uh, if you need to, you can separate your feet like mine are to give you a little bit more stability. If you want to challenge yourself, you can bring your feet in nice and close and touch your toes. You'll, you'll feel the difference for sure if you do that. Here we're doing a glute bridge. Uh, so this is where we're going to be doing the glute bridge. He's got his heels on the chair. And um, so the further he is away, um, you're gonna probably feel it more in hamstrings. The closer his butt is to his heels, the more he's gonna feel it in his butt. So right now he was just doing both feet at the same time. To make it a little bit harder, you can add some weight like he did. Um, where he's just, again, just books in a backpack. Again, to make it more difficult, um, you can put a band around your hips that's attached to a weight, something on the floor. Um, here he is doing one leg at a time. So again, this is if you're able to do both feet at the same time pretty well, then you can transition to two leg or to one leg. Uh, so notice his knee is staying connected. He's not letting his knee kick up high into the air. Uh, he's keeping his legs parallel to each other, his thighs parallel the whole time he's going up and down. Make sure you as you go up, you squeeze really hard and control the way down. And here I'm doing the modified version on the floor. Again, notice my heel on the floor, uh, my toe is up. So you don't wanna just leave your leg like that. Either you have your knee like this, I tuck my knee in and I pull, this will help if you have any back problems, or you can put your leg completely straight out like that, keep your thighs parallel. And then we're gonna go into a bicep curl to shoulder press. press. Uh, so we're using backpacks again. Uh, I did this workout yesterday with bands, so I just stepped on a band 
and held the handles and did this same movement. So use whatever you got. You can use milk jugs, you can use um, small children. <laughs> just get a little bit creative with it. You're not confined to just backpacks. Um, but you will feel this burn in your shoulders and your biceps. And here we're gonna do some shoulder taps. So this is where I'm doing it on um, my toes first. And again, keeping the core still, avoid the wiggle in your hips. And I'm just tapping one shoulder, the opposite hand, the opposite shoulder, just different times. And here we're doing a hamstring toe touch. So notice my back foot is hovering. Um, you'll see a modification a little bit later. My back foot is touching the floor. But again, this is where you're trying to maintain your balance. This will for sure get your balance working. But you're just reaching down to the floor and, and tapping the floor, keeping your chest up as best as you can. Don't worry about rounding, getting too rounded. It's not really going to bug your back. Um, but also notice my, my foot that's hovering is kind of coming behind my body. You'll, you'll, you will feel this in your glutes and your hamstrings. I, I can promise you that. And notice here, this is where I do it, where I tap my foot down on the floor to modify. This is a back widow. So again, if you have a very sturdy table um, or something that you can do a normal row, like a body row on, then do that. We tried it with some chairs and the stick and it kind of worked. So this is another way to do it. So you're gonna lay flat on your back. We did it holding a stick because it helped uh, with getting the movement feeling right. So I'm gonna tuck my chin and I'm just basically gonna push myself up on my elbows by squeezing my shoulder blades together. Again, control on the way down so you don't just relax, but control, so squeeze up and then control on the way down. And then the last thing is gonna go back to any of those core movements uh, that we, we did in the previous video. So if you didn't do any of, the, any of these from last time, then pick one of these you can mix between them for each time you come back for this part. Um, just keep your core burning, keep it engaged, and just challenge yourself to do a little bit more than you did the last time you did this exercise or the last round for this exercise. So give it a go, see what you got, and we'll see you in the next video.